I've been reading how people are saying that they believe that the problems in the world can be solved if humans functioned at a higher consciousness level. But how does that make sense? What is consciousness anyway? If you look it up in the dictionary, the dictionary says three or four different definitions, but the one that we can all relate to is that it says somebody's mind of thoughts and feelings collectively and individual is consciousness. We know that because of the way that our mind will lead us in certain thoughts or fantasies, pictures and ideas. And according to those thoughts that we participate in, we will create and manifest for ourselves within the energy of actions of ourselves as the physical according to what we are wanting to attract. For instance, if we have an attraction to another being, for instance, we will act accordingly. We will become flirtatious through our actions and these actions begin as thoughts. If you also are aware of your thoughts, you'll notice that sometimes we'll just have these random, bizarre, secret mind thoughts that will come forth and we won't even know where they came from. They won't really make any sense to us. But if we stop and really look at them and use them as a tool, we can see that consciousness has in fact been our enslavement. I mean, consciousness is able to produce anything from a belief to an idea because consciousness is our mind. So is it because of consciousness that we are able to be okay with the fact that over one billion people exist every day in hunger? And how is it okay for everyone to be homeless when there are empty homes and hotels and schools? How come the rich corporations have the right to charge money for the resources that Earth provides for us all equally? And these are questions that the answers come back to us, each individually, each individual human being, in that we are all existing as consciousness, as a pre-programmed system that we've accepted and allowed and we've been led accordingly through the media, through entertainment, through news stories, through politicians, and as money. Money is what leads us, it's what guides us. Could it be that this 2012 ascension and the, the wanting to get to that higher place of being, that energy, is just simply us realizing ourselves that we are not satisfied who we have become individually and that it's honestly just a point of looking in inward towards self and asking self the questions of what is it that I am not realizing about myself that I present to the world I am existing as when in fact I'm not. In other words, we go and we work daily and we participate in things that we don't really want to participate in because we have to, because we have to earn a living, because we have to have money to provide for ourselves. And could it just possibly be that we're just all sick of it, that we've had enough, that we've listened to our mind and we've allowed our mind to direct us as if we are it, when in fact we are not consciousness. We are actually physical beings walking upon a physical planet and we have forgotten who we are and that at this point, pain seems to be the only thing that reminds us that we're even here breathing. It's when the body actually aches and tells us to stop, to slow down, to become aware of what you're accepting and allowing within your mind that you're participating in that is keeping you from participating within and as this world on a physical basis. Because within that, you can begin to see that the, the truth of yourself within the fact that we allow a billion people at least that we're aware of to go hungry 
every single day while we allow others a small group of elite and corporations to completely run our whole planet earth is it that consciousness is actually the part of us that accepts and allows our world to exist the way it is and in order to stop consciousness we've got to be able to stop our thoughts and our feelings and our emotions and we do that through forgiving ourselves and in self-honesty looking at who we really are in self-honesty because we've actually never really existed as such if we were actually existing here in a world in self-honesty then we would realize that every single living being on this earth deserves the right to live in dignity and that others do not deserve more than another simply because of where they were born or who they were born to or simply because they have more money ascending to a fifth dimension is simply an ascension further into the mind we are all in this together we are stuck in consciousness together and together as a group we can override ourselves and redesign ourselves and begin applying the principle of equality and once that becomes clear once we can begin to accept equal money a system where all life will be provided for with food and water and shelter and education and health care our basic requirements for surviving once we each are allowing each other to have that then we are actually going to become more accepting of ourselves and we will not need to feel this urge to seek more energy to want more energy to desire something special according to a belief in an idea that is only existent within our minds why would anyone want to ascend to a higher consciousness when consciousness as we have all existed as is killing us